my, look at this. Friends, look at. Quick question. Are you happy with your power saw filing? I'm coming in and I'm coming in hot. Sharpening your chainsaws? Are you happy with what's going on when you smash into a rock and you try and get it cutting again? Simple question, are you? Friends, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in this world. That's what you want from the factory, not that thing that's, that's right there. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and keep that hand out of there so it doesn't focus on my hand. Chant me there. stick my toothpick in my pocket toe of my Carhartt jacket. Um, friends, YouTube is a, gosh, it, it, it's actually a wonderful place, to be honest, it, it is a wonderful place. But what I found when I first came to YouTube is that there's a lot of people. You know what? I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I was going to say something about you know, there's a lot of crazies on you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I was gonna go kind of a little bit down that road. I'm editing it out. We're not. We're not doing that. We're just going and telling you that if you're interested in power saw filing, chainsaw sharpening by hand with a round file, and how that process needs to be in order for you to stand up and let chips fly over your shoulder with a big poop eating grin on your face, this is the video for you. Plain and simple. Don't need nothing from you. Ain't trying to sell nothing for you or to you. Have a gander. Andra, I, I don't go into genres I don't know anything about because that's not who I am. I like to talk about things and help people with stuff that I have done before and can and can speak to. Does that make sense? Filing your chainsaw. It's the chain itself I want to talk about. And over here, we have chain out of the box. You go buy your new chain, right? This, this guy here. So there's one right there. There's the 36 inch chain right there. Okay. There's the tooth profile, pardon me, right there, stock. All the way back, you wanna maintain that. But as you see, as you see the chain actually gets smaller. You see that friends, it gets smaller. So what works here, right? What works say, here may be a little more difficult to get as you go back. And what happens, friends, is people, and I've talked about it, and I'll bring this over here. What happens to folks is they end up with this, the famous ski jump. And it is so not fun to cut with. It, it, it's terrible. It's an awful situation. Could you imagine trying to cut with that, especially with no raker? This gentleman, unfortunately, didn't know what was happening. He smashed the tooth. He smashed the corner right off it. See it? It's gone. It's dull. It won't cut a thing. It's horrible. The rakers are high. There's some locusts in the background there. Look at that beautiful locust I had there sitting there with some raker gauges on there. You know what? You got it in darn tootin'. You sure do. <gasps> you see? See this one? The cobwebs on it? There's another, that is a ski jump. It will cut nothing, okay? You see, he's trying, he, he, he's forgetting the gullet completely. You can see it. He's leaving the gullet out of the equation. It's staying in. You can leave the gullet. Let me set you up. Okay, so here's a perfect shot, friends. We have our, I'll get out of the way so the light comes in on you. There you are. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm taking extra care in this video to really try and help some folks on, on this program, okay? So if you want to leave, do you guys remember, guys, gals, women, and children, do you guys remember the baby C? Do you remember when I did the baby C? Well, this is a 530 seconds file right here. It's 530 seconds. See how small it is? So this, this would work if you didn't want to remove this dark part, which is the gullet. That's the gullet right there. Get the gullet. I'm talking to the layman right now, not the square grinder, not the, the guy who's trying the baby C like this. I could, I could make this and I feel like kind of showing you the corner has been smashed right off this chain, friends. There's no, can, you can see it, right? See that right there? It's, it's gone. It isn't even sharp. Look, like 
it it's not cutting anything <laughs> look it, it won't cut you guys get me okay so now what i'm going to grab is what file size is needed for this chain and that is your 730 seconds you see this you see you see what's going on here did you hear that click well he's he's you see that right there He's missed the gullet and he's roading up and he's creating what this is. He's creating a ski jump. Friends, this is a 730 second trial. Look what's happening. So he stands over top and he looks down. He looks down and he goes like this. We'll get this sucker sharp and we'll get this going. And he goes like this, here we go. Man, I hit that rock. Did you see me hit that rock? Oh, darn. There we go. It's sharp on top. There we go. Okay, let's get it going. Let's get cutting. Well, wait, hold, hold her. Hold her there, Scooter. Wait, did, settle down. Wait a minute. What? You're, you're, you're going to cut with this? That was a dull file by the looks of that curve. It's old chain. But So he's done nothing. He's made the top plate sharp. You can see it. At least now th this will grab. See my nail? See, now, now this will actually cut something. But it's not going to throw any chip because of this great big raker in front of it. It's not going to happen, friends. Nothing is going to happen. And I'll show you what I mean by that, skis. Okay? I'll grab an old used flat file, and I'll slide the sucker right across the tooth here. Let's put one on the back, put one there, and put one there. What's going to happen? Oh, well, heavens to Betsy, the, the raker is like... See the, see the relationship with the raker there? That's not going to cut anything. Okay, so I'm gonna swap my file out, friends, but let me just pull this out with a set of ice grips. There we go. And I'm putting a fresh file on because it is important to have a fresh file. And I'm going to show you, I don't care. I don't care, friends, if you come into your chain backwards like this. If you wanna come into your chain and go, and go this way, you... You go ahead. If you want to make that kind of noise, you, please, by all means, do it. Do it and love it and own it and live it. I don't do so. I come in like this, old school, and I'm about to show you what is going to happen. I'm going to slide this forward a little bit so I get over top of my vise, which is here. And we're going to go about this. Okay? I'm going to show you how to turn this here into... That other one I showed you, friends, like so. And look what's happened. Does that look normal to you? No, it does not. The gullet is completely left in the chain. And we know by the baby C, we know by the baby C that if I, if again, friends, again, if I grab a smaller file, which is here on top, this one, I can still make a hook here. I can. And I can get it to cut. I can. I could easily make this cut by going like this. This is 530 seconds file. And if you don't think this will cut, you're, you're highly mistaken. I can get anything to cut with any file just because I've been doing it a long time. Okay, see what happened? Look what happened. That's the premise of the baby C. You can see a little bit of junk on there, but at least now there's like this little hook in it there. See it there? See that? There's an actual hook in the chain. So that will grab wood now, but that was with this. That, that was with this little teeny file. We don't really want that. This guy, 730 seconds. Please listen to the words I'm talking about here. 730 seconds. You see that gullet down there? That big chunk right there, this, well, you're about to watch it disappear because it shan't be there. But I tend to come straight across, fairly straight across. I'm going to show you what's going on here. So what you'll see now is this great big hump in the middle with this huge hump in the middle because we went right after the gullet. That can stay there. That thing can stay there. Doesn't matter. Okay? Honestly, friends, it, do, it does not matter. Okay? 
See this one here now? You're gonna see what happens from the backside. What you think is this one? Yes, it is. Watch what I do. Now friends, at this stage with no corner here, with this knocked right off it, I have to now bring this back without a question. I have to bring this chain to right there. I do, I have to bring it to there to, to get it to cut again. But we got a lot of material to remove. So what I tend to do is I go down like this. See my file? Watch what happens here. You don't have to do what Billy Ray does. But I'm I'm hammering on this right now. I'm I'm now another thing. Is, are you hearing this? So I'll just go I'll go layman on it. Okay, I want to show you something. The reason I file down. You want to see something crazy? Are you seeing that? That's not what you want. But friends, I have to go there. Why? Because of that. That, that right there is bent right over. Look at it. I have to take it out. So now watch what I do. Watch what happens. Okay? You got to take it. That's why I like the boat. There it is right there. There's the big flake. That's what I was looking for right there. Okay? Let me get it out of there. 7.30 seconds. Wow. Billy Ray, you, you're sure taking a lot of material there, aren't you? Aren't you uh, wasting the chain here, Billy Ray? Hear that file starting to roll smooth through there now? And look at the C. Look at the C. Oh. Well, let's have a little pixie put that, shall we? Right. Okay. I see what you're saying, Billy Ray. I, I didn't I didn't catch what you were you were getting at there. Well now now I do, Billy Ray. Now I now I do see. Thank thank you for pointing that out. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. Oh. Oh, I, I, I see. So that's, that's very interesting. Mm. We have to get that back to there. That has to go. See, I'm into the thing there, but I was going hog wild on this because I needed to get down. Here's this one. There we go, we're back to factory hook. See? Inside. There it is. I'm into the link, see? Don't don't worry about that. Don't, don't worry about hitting that little bit of, of, of that right there, friends. Just don't worry about it. Ouch, somebody's cutting rocks. Ouch. Oh, that's looking a little better. Okay. So, if you want to use yourself a smaller file. So, I'm just, I'm going to give you guys a, an idea of, of what it looks like back here now. Okay. Let's come back here. Here I am. Right? There, there I am. Okay, this is what's going on. I've got this little thing here on the bottom that pulls up the slack of the chain. See that? Because it's loose. And if you don't have it tight, you're not going to... So I, I pull down on it and it's super tight in there. It's just what I do. It, if it helps you, great. Friends, th this has to go. This, this gullet stuff has to go. I, I can see what this gentleman was doing. He was actually filing like this. 
he, he was, so I went overboard because I needed to get this rock on. This is some weird chain. Okay. So he, he was like this. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, so I'm going kind of, I'm following his path. Okay. This is the path that he was on. See the angle of my file? It's kind of like this. There's nothing wrong with that. There isn't. That's good. It. I'm already clipping the bottom. It puts a different... Uh, a different angle on the file. There's nothing wrong with that, friends. But the more you have to go down, and the more you'll gash into the into the uh, into the plate. Okay, it's important to get a hook. Okay, it's important to get a hook. This this that I just created. There's nothing wrong with what I just created here too, and I stayed in his groove. There it is. That's what I just created. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that. And if you're not comfortable with 730 seconds and you want to use a smaller file, go for it. I don't, it, it don't matter. It really don't matter. But don't be afraid about hitting these little, this is an old style chain, friends. I don't even know what this is. It looks like organ, but it is old. 404 or something, or 38s. But... I'm just here to tell you, friends, that when you hear me talk about the ski jump, I'm referring to this. Here, let's go back. I'm referring to that right there. See that right there? So, it, it friends, I don't care what file you use. You, you Look at that. Oh, my. Look at this. Friends, look at. Look at that. It is literally bent right over top. Okay, so it, it matters not to me what you use. You can use a, a, a 3 16 Here, let's see, I might even have a 3 16 file on hand. Matter of fact, I do. There's one right there. There's a 3 16 file right there on the bottom. See the size difference? It's smaller. See, you can use a 3 16 shall we? See? There you go. There you go. 3 16 file. It's starting to kick up, so I got to get my thing back on here. Bear with me. Boom. Shakalaka. There. I'm back on. We're tight. Now it won't jump on me. Okay. This is a 3 16 file. I, I don't care what you use for files. You need a hook. Okay. I've tried all the angles, friends, over the years, okay? You need a hook, but, but look at this material. You see? So, there you are. That, that'll cut. Yes, it, it will. But I don't like leaving that material. I, I don't like it. I go here. 7.30 seconds. Shaklank, I'm in. And I just, I say goodbye to that. I'll even take that front gullet out of there. Hit the road. You're not welcome. And there we go. It's gone. See that? There we go. Gone. Okay. Now, it's just this. Just me and the tooth now. Okay. But that's only one part of the equation, the hook. What happens when guys get going on the hook is they go overboard. They do, friends. They, they, they go overboard completely. It's the top plate that has to be strong. And that's the, this here, this thing. This guy. Right there. This has to be strong. See? It's a good looking chain right there. Hey. Okay. Hope that's helping. Let's pull one back again. Let, let's, what is that? What in the flying heck is that right there, friends? Could you please tell me what that is? And, and who did that? I just, it's not what they give you from the factory. I'll tell you that rate stinking. No, it's not. 
So I don't understand why you wouldn't just carry on my wayward son with what they give you from the factory. That's what things are supposed to look like, friends. That's what you want from the factory, not that thing that's that's right there. What is even going on? Why why would you why would you leave that gullet in there? Friends. Can you guys give me an assistance on this? Here comes the 732nds file. I'm coming in and I'm coming in hot. Oh yeah, I am. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and keep that hand out of there so it doesn't focus on my hand. Okay, I'm filing down. And now I'm gonna file right down and I I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna pull that rock out of there. See that rock? Okay, you gotta do what you gotta do to get that rock out of there, friends. So what's happened? What does it look like now? Oh, well, heavens to Betsy Bucket. That's a pretty scary looking. Oh, it's Carlton chain. There it says right on it, Carlton. That makes sense. So you see what I've done, friends? I've gone down there right into the Carlton, right into the side strap. But you can see right there that there's problems. I don't I don't care how deep you go. That's, that's goofy. It comes straight and then it goes, boop. It's bent over. It's bent over, friends. So if you have that on your chain, you don't have a good cut and chain. So now I change, now that I've gotten my gullet out, just how I choose to do it. There it is. Are you seeing what's happening? Look it, look it. See that curve? I'll try and one hand it. I'll, I'll, I'll try extra hard to, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Well, there we go. And then you think you got it, but you don't. Because you just don't. You got the backside of the tooth to deal with too. Okay. Oh, well, that looks a little better, doesn't it? So friends, just, that's freaking sharp is what that is. Just do what you gotta do. See how deep I went? I went quite deep to get underneath that crazy rock. Let's go back here. Okay, here's another just normal way to do this. There's another one. You can see, you can see that has to go. Friends, it has to go. You can do it however you want, friends, okay? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna slide you guys back a little bit to right there. And I want you to watch what I do here. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the picture because when my hand comes into the picture, it, it, it changes things. So here I go. Watch. You can still see it's actually not, it's much, much better. And you gotta ask yourself, right? See the gullet? You see how I chose not to go very low that time? Right there? You see? There she be, okay? But to be honest, it all depends on what you're cutting. Normally, I prefer this. Now I'm just going to go down a couple. There you go. That's what we get.
so this is what you're after, friends. And you can still see, if you look close, maybe not. No, we got it. Yeah, we got it. There's nothing wrong with that. That's very respectable. But you can see, you can see, this is gullet, right? This is gullet here, okay? So that is a very acceptable, nothing aggressive, right? So, so th that is where I live usually, in here depending, with a lower raker, right? And, and if you want to see what happens with a raker gauge on this, I happen to have an old Carlton sitting here, a phyllo plate. Would you look at that, friends? A freaking Carlton to match the chain. I love it. Let's have a peeksy poo, shall we? Have we got any flat files around this joint? Oh dear. Well, would you have a quick little gander at that? Is that raker a little high, friends, for you? Well, it's a little high for me. See it there? Right here? That's why you don't know what's going on with your chain if you ain't got a, a freaking raker gauge. You're, you're just too high. I don't care how sharp your freaking tooth is. Don't, don't talk to me about how smooth you're cutting unless you're using one of these. Oh, you, you mean that's better, Mr. Billy Ray? Is that what we're supposed to have? Like that? With the angle forward like that? Yes, sir, that's correct. You, you're, you're now getting it. Now you've got a sharp corner right here. You've got a sharp corner right there that is higher than your relationship of your raker because we did this. Making sense, friends? So I don't care what you run for a hook. I don't care what kind of fuel or files you got. You can't have this. Okay, you, you, this is not going to work for you. I call it, that's the ski jump. That is the, the proverbial ski jump right there. That's it. So I, I, I'm just here to tell you that this chain would cut nothing. Watch this. See, see this here? Okay. Let's take the rakers down. Let's do it. Let's just take it down. Let's see. Okay, there we go. We got our rakers down now, right? Boom. Okay. Beautiful. Now, watch this. 7.30 seconds. Let's get on it. Let's do it, friends. Here we go. This is our tooth? Sure it is. Let's go. This is horrible. Now remember, friends, I'm just trying to get the camera so that you guys see this happen. I'm pushing down until I get that gullet gone. Look at the original. Look at that. That just changed already. That's a cutting tooth, but guess what? It's actually not because there's the, the corner smashed off it, friends. So now that you're down under here and you're, you're where you need to be, this is where you need to change the grip on your filing and settle down. Let the file do some gliding. You've already dug it out. Okay, look at. So that's a cutting tooth right there. That's, that's a scary cutting tooth is what that is. See the little hump in the middle left? So there we go, but check this out now. Check this out. Let's grab that raker gauge we had, friends, and, and see where that ended up. Shaklank, we're low again. See, because we took some more off the tooth. Let's square that up. Now we're cutting. Now we are cutting. <laughs> me about that should we do one on this side now so that you guys can see like what in the what, oh my dear lord what is that what is that I, I don't know I have no ideas what that is but it's not it's not sticking around I'll tell you that right now okay it's not it's it's leaving where it's going now I don't know whether this is going to work that good, but I'm going to try it again. And I'm going to try and just fall right in. I'm not going to try any tricks. I'm just going to fall into play. But I'll tell you, I will literally, friends, when I've got a beat up tooth that bad, 
I'm just going to show you this right now, what I will do. I will go like this. I will literally take my file from there and I will go like this. Watch what happens to the tooth. Did you just see that? Did, did you just see what happened? It totally, almost completely 100% got rid of that rock because I went like this and I attacked the top plate. I attacked it instead of just working all the way back to come back to the top plate. So you'll see me go like this. You'll see me lots do this if I've rocked my chain horribly. I'll go like this and then I'll straighten my file out and I'll go like this. Okay, that's what you'll see me do. And then you'll see me after I do that, you'll see me go like this. And that's not aggressive, friends, it's not. Look at, that's, that's a whole bunch of gullet left there, but that will cut, but it's not where I like it. So that's why you always bend over, take a look at it, see what you got on the go. Let's get a little more gullet out of that, friends. So we're, we're grabbing a pretty good sized chip. See the chips flying off of that? And then ease up on your file once you're in the hole again. I don't care what you do from there. You want to get a strong top plate is what you want. Okay? That I like much better. That, that's, that to me, that's cotton. Okay? Then we go here. And we go to this and we go, what's going to happen here now? Oh, my heavens to Betsy. Holy smackers. Okay, that's gnarly. Let's let's get this kind of square here bucking. Should we? I think we should. Yeah, let, let's do that. Thank you. Next. But I won't do rakers. I'll do my chain all the way through, right? I'll, I'll do everything first. See that? I'll go through. And, and this is what I do. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. This is, this is what I do in a situation like this. Friends, I'm not kidding. I will literally attack this, like this. I'm on a crazy angle right now, but I have got to get that rock out of there. Look at me, I'm going haywire, getting it. You're darn tootin' I am. See this? I'll give you a top angle of this. It'll blow your, blow your head what's going on here. There it is, there's a great big burr right off the top. It just disappeared. Okay. Let's get this straight now. Okay. And there we are. I like my chain sharp, friends. Okay, I like them sharp. I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? So, now we go down all one side. And we get this thing going here. And we go, well, I filed it. Why is it not cutting? Because of that. Why is it chattering? Because of this. Why is it cutting on an angle? Well, because you got one side sticking up higher than the other. I'm hot to trot tonight, friends. I'm trying to get folks to understand this. this is why we do this. Why we spend time and learn in the vice. Friends, did this just work? Yes, it did. We have to run with this. I can't stop. I got to keep my focus on. Okay, here we are. We're rolling. You, you, do you guys see what I'm talking about? This thing here, okay? This is the same thing we've been dealing with this whole video, okay? So make no mistake, there's nothing different except you're looking from the top now, okay? Watch what happens. This is why I turn my file down. Like, I'll attack the top plate. Look it, watch what happens when I do this. What just happened? Well, it went concave. This went concave here because I attacked it like this. If I want to just go straight down here, I'll just go straight down here. Watch it go unconcave now. It's going to get unconcave because I'm going to the corner. You can see it start to flip up. See the corner starting to flip up. And here we are. There comes our burr. I hope you guys can see the burr. It's a little shiny, I know. Uh, it, it is, it gets a little shiny, friends. Sorry about that. Okay, but, but you need to be touching the top plate. 
your file needs to close this gap here. See? Not be underneath it or, or like this or going like this or like that. You need to come through like this. Okay? I hope that makes sense, friends. But the camera work, I'm trying to... Yeah, it's gone back to that other one now, I think. Look at this thing. You got to have a fresh file for this stuff, friends. Yeah, see, it's, it's, it's picking up this, not the tooth. That bothers me when that happens, but I can't. There's really not much a feller can do unless he's in here like this. See how that changes everything? But I think you guys kind of get... See the top plate starting to come around? There it is. There's Mr. Top Plate. Straight line. It's a straight line. Yeah, see, it's just kind of weird. Right? So there we go. So, friends, I, uh, I think you folks know how kind of badly I, I want to share this information with people and how when you see a guy standing there, perhaps me, perhaps someone else that you follow, and you see him standing there and he's... he's, he's like, I, I, I don't bend down and buck wood like this unless I've got a situation where the log is fairly good size, friends. Fairly good size. And I can kind of, you know, rest the saw and the dogs and, and work the saw like, I'm, like it's supposed to be done. But when you see a guy standing up and he's flicking, freaking, he's ripping through the logs, okay? <laughs> Um, you're with a long bar. You're, you're not doing that until you get this process down. You're just not, I I'm just, I'm just telling you, honestly, I'm just trying to help folks with their power saws. Uh, I, I've been doing this a long, long time. And I went, I went through the whole program of why am I cutting on an angle? I just filed my power saws. And, and, and I'm not, I'm still not cutting. What, what is the problem? Okay. These rakers. Oh, I didn't realize friends. I've, it's the, it's the evolution of a sawman. It's what a sawman goes through or even a homeowner or just anybody. It don't matter. This is a long video, but it's worth it to me to, to spend the time in the vice because these videos will be there forever. I don't know another video you need than, than the one I just showed. With all the, the, the Power Saw Phylum videos I've got, friends, files last about four, five, six filings maybe, depending on the files you buy, on a 32-inch bar. If you've got a 20-inch chain with a skip-tooth chain or full house, if, if you get 10 filings, you're pushing it. You're pushing it. You need, buy files. I buy them by the box. I buy them by the box. If you plan on cutting firewood for a living, or running a power saw for a living, start buying lots of files and lots of bar oil and lots of, it's just how it goes. So I, I hope this video helped. Uh, I, I'm not here trying to sell you any files or any guides or anything. I'm trying to sell you self-sufficiency and joy and love and peace in running the power saw. It, it, it is such a joyous tool, but it can also, it can also cut your face off. And if you're not cutting and you're pushing on it and you're frustrated, do I have a dead bird laying here? That bird's, I had a bird smack off this window hard. There's his feathers, I hope he made it. I'll go out and have a look after I let you guys go. But get your chains dialed. I love you, thank you for watching. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. Friends, I think I got some traveling coming in my, in my in my future, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I'm going to be traveling again and cutting and sharing information with people, which is, if you've been here for any period of long time, you know that's where I want to go. Be kind. See you on the next video.